government they're telling us is working on plans to help generate and stabilize the energy supply. The Public Works Department uh, publishing a national infrastructure plan. It's detailing major developments, but here's where the problem comes in. These major developments are leading up to the year 2050. One of those is a shift from fossil fuels. Let's get some reaction uh, from Professor Samson Mampueli from the University of Stellenbosch's Center for Renewable and Sustainable Energy. Prof, good morning to you. I'm sure you would have heard my tone as I mentioned the word 2050. I feel every time you and I speak about this, we're just adding decades and decades to the fight against fossil fuels. Is that really where we are now? We're now aiming at 2050. I'm going to be retired. Good morning, Gareth, and the, the, the viewers. Um, yes, um, the, the plan that has been published by Public Works, um, it's a, it's got a 2050 target, and I've looked at it. Um, it's not a very big plan on the energy side. It's um, calling for the revision of the integrated resource plan. And like you, uh, I'm also worried about the extensions, especially on the implementation side. I must say that the plan itself is in line with the IRP and it's extending parts of the IRP. It's also uh, envisioning the, 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 the economic growth that will then lead to um, higher uh, electricity demand. All those are quite positive. My biggest challenge with all these plans is implementation. You will recall that we, we, we are busy with bid window five now, uh, where we're supposed to procure uh, about uh, uh, some megawatts of, a, of electricity. And that bid window five has been, has been dragging. Um, we have gone for emergency procurement of about 2,000 megawatts. Uh, we didn't do it right with the power ships. We are still uh, having challenges there. And this new plan by, by, by the department is calling for procurement of about 4,000 megawatts uh, of emergency power in 2021, 22. I can't see that happening, uh, I was about to ask you, Professor, I mean, as you say, it's the implementation uh, which is uh, the, the issue here as well. But we, we seem to be kicking this uh, tin, this environmentally unfriendly tin, further and further down the road. I want to get your thoughts on this. When we take a look at what government is doing, I'm going to use two key words here. One is generate energy. The other is stabilize the energy. It seems we cannot even stabilize the energy we have now. What makes government think, in your opinion, that if we generate more electricity down the road, we'll be able to stabilize that when we can't stabilize what we have or arguably don't have uh, at the moment? The, the challenge with the stabilization at the moment is the, the aging coal power stations uh, and the, the, the challenges that we had with uh, Medupi and Kusile, uh, you know, taking 14 years to, to, to be completed and after completion, immediately after completion with explosions because of um, design challenges. So all, all those issues are the issues that are leading to, to us not being able to have uh, security of energy supply. Um, I would say that the if if we fast track, I mean, government has got quite a number of good plans, um, including ESCOM. And if you look at the the Just Energy Transition Plan that ESCOM has, has developed, for instance, um, you look at the 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 new uh, the, the, the the regulations that allows municipalities to to now procure power from from independent power producers. Those are all good plans. The challenge for us is always implementation. And if you, if we look at the... Forgive me for, for jumping in. I've got about 30 seconds left with you, Prof. Uh, I'm going to give you the last 30 seconds. If not 2050, when would you like to see this uh, being implemented? And give me one thing you want government to put into this proposal that you're going to tell them how to do it. You've got 30 seconds, Prof. They need to implement the, the current IRP. Um, they are supposed to procure 6,800 megawatts from wind and solar. They need to do that uh, quite quickly. Um, the other plans, they are all good and well. They also need to be implemented. We need to also um, can kind of consolidate all these plans into one and, and then come, come up with an implementation plan. And then we, we move as a country.
instead of delaying implementation and then coming with new plans and then delaying implementations and coming with, with new plans. This is what we did with the IRP 2010, remember? We had the, an IRP 2010 good plan, we delayed implementation, and then we revised it in 2019. We're still delaying implementation and we're coming now with new revisions for 2050. We will still delay implementation and that is costly on the economy side. Of course it is. And Professor, it's always such a pleasure to speak to you. Uh, Professor Samson Mampueli from the University of Stellenbosch's Centre uh, for Renewable and Sustainable Energy. I was just doing some maths, by the way. By the time we get to 2050, I'm going to be 69 years old. That's when this plan is going to be finished. 69.